Hello traders and welcome to the Training Fanatic channel. It's Ilya here and as always I'm super happy to have you here and here we are with another trading setups breakdown video. I promised you to do one of those every single week around the middle of the week. Today is Thursday so I have taken three trades this week and I'm going to try to break them down with as much detail as possible with a nice top-down analysis, all of my thought process on my entries. So I really hope those kind of videos will actually be educational for you. So at the end of this video, make sure to leave me a comment so that I know if you want me to keep posting those, all right? So just to give you a little bit of context, uh, this is the first week of the month. So we had the monthly closure and usually it is a little bit tricky because we have also NFP. And the first week of every month is the week that actually sets up the bias and it sets, sets up the context for the whole upcoming month. So basically, it's been pretty hard to figure out the bias. I'm not sure. I hope I'm not alone, but it's been super hard to figure out my full hourly and hourly bias. Like we're overall stuck in consolidations on the major pairs. So it's pretty hard to actually determine a hard time frame bias. Therefore, I'm working a lot on the lower time frames, but if you just try to kind of determine your bias from the lowest time frames, then those are the low probability setups. And basically this week I landed on some of those. So I'm going to show you absolutely everything. All right. We have NFP tomorrow. Today is Thursday. So I took my final trade right now for the week, which was a loss, which I'm going to show you. And potentially tomorrow or maybe later today, we could have something. But of course, I'm going to reduce my risk even more or just step aside and wait for the market to set up. All right. So if you're new to this channel, it's all about trading. Every single Saturday, I share the weekly outlook and setups. So make sure that you check this out. Once per week, I'm going to try my best to share an educational piece of content. And of course, this trading setups breakdown video. So make sure you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell in order not to miss all of those videos that are upcoming. I have a lot of educational videos on the list, so make sure you're subscribed. And if you already are, let's see what do we have for today. All right, so this week I only focused on EU simply because the price action was much cleaner than the one on GU and I saw a lot more opportunities on EU rather than GU. Of course, there were some to take on GU as well because this pair is really volatile. It always provides a lot. But for me, EU is a little bit more conservative and I always incline towards it. OK, so what I did is I took three trades this week. The first one, the bad thing about the first one is that I only took 60% partials. I also share all my trades on Instagram, on my story, so make sure you're following me there. Uh, I took 60%, which banked me around 1 point something percent, and then the rest hit break even. Then I took another loss on Wednesday, and then I took another loss today. All right, so basically my profit is almost gone, and if I consider commissions, because they're pretty hefty, uh, I even think that I may be a little bit at the minus, but guess what? That is perfectly fine because we have a whole new month ahead of us, all right? Let's start by breaking down a little bit on the daily just to give you a little bit of a context as we as we start right now. So as you can see, we have a downtrend right there and right now we're an uptrend, all right? I want to bring to your attention this, this zone. Guys, make sure that you stay tuned because I'm going to release a really nice video on supply and demand. I'm going to simplify it for you. I'm going to show you how I trade it and basically to introduce a few other nice concepts to you. All right. So as you can see from here, the market impulse to the downside. Basically, again, what I want to bring to your attention is this lower high and this lower low. This is your whole range. And in between that range, you have this nice downtrend push, pullback, shorts right there, push, pull back, shorts right there, because you see we have uh, an equal lower high. The market pushes down, pulls back again, lower high, lower low. And since then, at the open of April, as you can see, first of April, we have a new month. Again, NFP comes out and we have a beautiful uptrend to the upside. I really miss price action like this because you can see since May, yes, we had at the beginning of May it was pretty nice, but then as we got into the middle, you can see right there, we have plenty of choppy price action. So it was pretty, uh, pretty, hard to get a trade. But what I want to tell you right here is this supply area. OK, the market comes inside. It takes a lot of pressure outside. So you can see how the market sells off. But if you pay careful attention, does this sell off break any structure? OK, no, it just created a double bottom or equal higher low, whatever you like to call it. Then we push into the highs and create it. We created a higher high. The market got deeper into this supply level still reacted to the downside, but what it did is just created a higher low formation for a very nice continuation to the upside. OK, so maybe if any of you were looking to sell this market, is it wrong? Not really, but this was simply the market taking out the orders 
outside of this supply area because that was pretty strong that was the origin of this whole move to the downside okay and basically the market is currently in a nice uptrend so the overall bias is up if you have been watching my uh weekly outlook and setups i really wanted to see the market reach inside this daily demand zone why is this a demand because we have a nice indecision candle right there that created a higher low we pushed we broke structure above so basically if the market comes close inside right there I would like to go long because what I expect to happen is the market to tap inside and to continue for a new higher high. And uh, if you remember, of course, I always keep calling this level right there, this uh, full hourly high or daily high of 23,500. I totally think this is going to get reached. When? We don't know. All right. So basically what we only had is this ugly wick right there. And this wick made everything super complicated for me. Because as I drop right now on the hourly time frame, of course, my zone is going to disappear. So let me fix it before it's too late. Uh, hours, weeks, months, ranges, everything. I want everything. Cool. Let's drop to the hourly right now. So basically, there is this thing right there. Okay. So there are many ways to read this. And this is when trading gets a little bit hard. From here, we are perfectly bullish. Okay. We created this little range right there. We very nicely pumped outside. We pull back higher low formation, push to the upside. You might say that this is a double top. It is. But what is important for me is are we causing a break of structure? No, we didn't. We created an equal higher low or a double bottom and we continued for a nice higher high. Perfectly bullish. What happens at the higher high is that we create a little bit of a double top. And what we have right there is a nice bullish candle before a very nice sell off. So this immediately means to me, all right, a lot of orders were initiated outside of that level. Okay, from that level, I should say. And then the big question is, is this right here a break of structure? Okay, so a close below the structure right there, or is it a fake? Okay, simply because this is that bearish bullish formation, like this sort of fake behavior. So it is very tricky because again, there are two situations that you can kind of implement right there. If this is your break of structure, then you look for shorts from here, which was a beautiful setup on Tuesday. I'm also going to show you. But if you think it's a fake, then you should be long and you should be looking to get somewhere inside this level right there. If you simply like take 50% uh, of this whole zone, you can see where actually the market reacted. All right. So I was also looking for longs right there, but I didn't get in. All right. And simply, as you can see, the market reacted from this little range right there very nicely. It also broke structure to the upside. So what is the bias? I don't know very 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 tricky then starting to make my way down to the hourly time frame see what happens right here okay the market pushes up pulls back simply again respects bullish structure this is a higher low higher high have a look again this is a very beautiful demand area not sure if i was trading probably not because this is six o'clock we push into the highs but do we cause a break of structure no we pull back then we have this beautiful buy and then a big sell up okay so this is a really 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 good supply area and as you can see right here we consolidated we faked inside the supply area and then we dumped to the downside okay and basically let's start going through my trades i'm gonna show you my first trade from here which was actually the winner so uh yes let me drop to the 15 minutes just to give you the context again of what i was looking at so basically i want to just plot the asian range because i use it a lot so as you can see, there is our Asian range. So usually I would look for the market to spike either below or above. What we had at first were a few potential long setups on the way up, but I could not get any. Then we actually faked above the Asian highs and then we broke structure to the downside on the five minutes. It's not a break on the 15, but we broke on the five. So basically I wanted to get in from here and then to potentially target the lows right there where I actually took a buy later from from this area, but we're going to jump onto this. So this is just a very quick uh, kind of a context. And right now, let's drop to the one minute where I mainly execute my trades. So what you can see is as the market was pushing up. So the first trade that I wanted to take was from here. This one. Why? Because again, you can see this is the manipulation below Asia. OK, then the market pushes up. It breaks. It breaks the most recent. Come on. It breaks the most recent lower high, which is right there. Let me call it like this. Break a structure it retests back so this was a beautiful long and then as you can see the market starts to trade up push pull back higher low higher high we have a beautiful range right there which is also a higher low formation there is the first tap there is a second tap so i could have taken longs from here but i wasn't looking for the longs already because the market was getting a little bit too high and it was manipulating above the asian high so when this happens i try to step aside then what did we have is the market creating this little kind of step down formation also still bullish 
then we have this sell off that broke structure then we have this buy that took out the liquidity above those little stacked highs right there and then very sharply impulse to the downside so at this moment i was like nice there it is my new supply level and uh what i was also observing is that the market actually broke the swing from where i wanted to take longs in the morning so this was pretty 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 bearish for me and uh what i did i was basically looking to enter from right there for uh 22376 but i got my entry at 22369 i'm gonna also share my mt4 stats and uh yeah pretty nice triggered in right there consolidated for a little bit went a little bit in drawdown then started pushing down and creating beautiful downwards moving market i was thinking to scale in at some of those levels but i was doing something else and it was getting a little bit too late basically i'm gonna also make a video on trading routines let me know if you'd like to see that for me after 11 o'clock my time which is utc plus two i stopped trading because this is the lunch time for the uk guys for the uk banks the big boys they go to lunch so they stop trading right that's what everybody says and uh yeah so basically what i did is i took my partials why right there let me show you why simply because this is where that big move to the upside started so if you have a nice sell before a massive buy to the upside as well this is why i started to get a little bit 50 50 because have a look at this big push to the upside and have a look at the momentum to the downside so if this market was going to reverse from here it should have just exploded like this look at that push to the downside and compare it to this push to the downside this one is pretty slow that's why i took 60 percent of my partials and i was like cool i'm just gonna let it go and then basically I got stopped at break even somewhere right there. I'm also going to share that uh, break even stats. And then simply the market went inside this very nice four hourly and hourly supply area and just sold off. You can see that we didn't change. Yeah, on the one minute we actually changed structure. So have a look. Let's follow structure. Higher low, higher high. Higher, higher right there as well. Consolidation, push, pullback, break. So if this is your most, if you, this, if you think that this is your major structure, there it is. There is your break. There is your retest right there like this and there is your sell-off so this would have been a beautiful trade like this and then you can of course write it whatever you like it was huge but of course i didn't catch this one because i was not trading at that time so this is my first trade on which i banked um not sure around one percent one and something so let's jump on to the next trades right now let me immediately jump onto the one hourly right now so basically let me actually delete this one right now as i already broke it down again let's analyze structure if i think that the market was bullish which i thought it was because i consider this to be a fake and if you have a look at the fake it also broke structure right there created a range and then we very sharply exited the range so for me i wanted to take a buy exactly from right here okay why because i consider this to be my higher low also a demand level and if the market spikes inside i was expecting for a potential higher high Failing to acknowledge that the market was coming from this very nice supply and that we might potentially pull back even into the deepest areas right there. But for me, that was a trading opportunity. So, of course, I took it. Let's let's analyze. Let me drop my second trade to show you the entry as well. Cool. Then I want to drop to the 15 minute and go a little bit on the left. Have a look. What do we have right here? OK, so there is your consolidation. There is your fake right there that tapped into this on the left so basically if we have a look this zone right there is perfectly tapped so everything is balanced push above pull back push above then everything right there is balanced then we have a push outside pull back and then since there the market started to impulse to the upside so basically this for me was my higher low and if the market broke below this level right there it would have been an invalidation for me so basically i go bearish after this and uh, then what you can see is that i also i have a level to uh, i have a way to actually know where the market is potentially gonna reverse like this it's it's on the left right there but i'm not gonna go into details of this right now and uh, yes basically i entered right there i'm also gonna share my mt4 stats i had a beautiful reaction it also i was immediately sure that this is not gonna work out I'm gonna tell you why and also we failed to break this very minor one minute structure then it just started to pump down it took me out and yeah then it continued to just move to the downside then i was immediately thinking to adapt and to start taking shorts from those levels but i didn't again because of the time so again after it becomes 11 o'clock for me i stopped trading and i was like cool i just took my loss let's see what happens later so i missed those two very nice short trades that could have made my money back it is what it is i'm zero stressed about it a big mistake right there that i really want you to extract as well 
is by the time I was looking at that trade, so this candle is not there, and also this candle is not fully printed, this candle was looking like a huge bearish engulfing candle, right? It was looking like this. So why do you think that this market with such a strong bearish pressure, it's okay, so you can say cool, Ilya, but look at that. It happened right there. Well, yeah, sometimes it's gonna happen, but most of the times it's gonna take some time, okay? The market is gonna close, it's gonna reject, it's gonna push to the upside, then it's gonna give you the entry, which is exactly right there, if you have a look at this example. But this market was just pumping to the downside and I was like, cool, man, I'm just gonna enter the market and reverse it, all right? I have all the money. Well, good luck, bro. So I took my loss right there, which was basically an aggressive reversal trade. And uh, yes, then what the market did is actually reacted. I showed you why it reacted from there. If you also have a look on the left, there is a little bit of a demand level just right there that hasn't been tapped. And if I take this all the way on the right, you can see why actually the reaction happened from there. Okay, so you could have taken longs from here. But again, US session and there was nothing provided for me personally. You can see push. There is my higher low formation. It's just one candle, but if I drop on the one minute, it's going to be a few candles. Push up again, failure to tap inside this level, and then we just continue to move into the highs. And by that time, I'm already out of the market. So this is my second trade for a half percent loss. Because usually when I lose, yeah, I have a risk management plan that I've shared in my private community as well. It makes you lose less, but when you win, you win a lot. It's really nice. So, uh, yes, and let me jump on to the final trade that I took today, which is the third trade right there. So, again, slightly bit stupid from my side, but let me show you. So, again, what is the direction? This morning, I wake up, I do my analysis, where are we going? And basically... I thought we we're going overall up, okay? But to be honest, let's drop the brush. So again, if this didn't hold, we had a higher high, cool. So this higher low should have held, right? But what did we have is push to the downside, break of structure, pull back, lower high formation, lower low, pull back, beautiful short opportunities right there during Asia. We had eight hours of consolidation and then the market should actually be going for a lower low, all right? But somehow I said to myself, hmm, it looks like longs, right? And so I married myself to the longs. So what I did is I dropped to my lower time frames to have a look for some sort of analysis. And yeah, basically I told you why this reacted right there on the left. We push into the highs, we consolidate. And basically this is my major higher low right now because this is the lowest point. Then the market pushes, it breaks structure right here. And then from here we impulse into the highs. So basically if I want to see a reaction, I want to see it from here. And not from down there because if for me if the market breaks so much to the downside i would like to be out of the market already all right and then of course i went to my lower time frames to to find my entry and uh yeah if you just have a look right there inside this range so just follow the structure guys it's that easy all right you have a push to the downside that looks like a lower low but this is just the manipulation then we have a push up pull back the market starts to shift right there so we start turning bullish hard high high low perfect tap right there then a nice higher high then a nice higher low right there and then a pump into the highs so basically this is my last level that i want to be stopped out if i am wrong okay and basically i entered somewhere from right there if i just fast track to right now there's my entry i'm gonna also share my mt4 stats and yeah so i entered right there had a little reaction bearish engulf a little reaction i could have closed again above break even but it's not nice it's not something that i do a lot and then basically, I also had a pretty refined level. So this candle, this bearish candle actually closed below my level. So I cut my trade actually somewhere right there. I'm going to share with you my stats again. You can see where I got stopped out. Only if I didn't take my stop loss, I maybe would have still been in a trade and a potential for break even. But maybe knowing myself, I would have been like, cool, we're reversing. So let's hold. And then I would have been stopped out still as well. So basically, guys, this is my second loss after my first win. And this is how I finished this week at break even. Then, of course, uh, we were thinking, OK, is this market going up? Is it going down? But basically, if you just solely focus on the one minute, you're going to get lost. You need your hard time from analysis. And if you don't have the hard time from analysis, you are basically nowhere. All right. So basically, a few key tips from this video. Um, always make sure to trade with the prevailing trends. Okay, so basically my first trade that I took from here, was it with the trend? No, it's not, but I had a little bit of a confirmation and the confirmation was this break of structure down there that confirmed to me that this is a lower low 
and that I can potentially expect this to be my major high and for this to be a lower high, which as you can see, it ended up playing out nicely. But then the problem with this one is that we did not have enough volume, we did not have enough orders to just continue pushing to the downside from this place. So what the market needed to do is it needed to grab the liquidity above to tap into that full hourly supply first and then to eventually reverse, all right? So that was the problem with that trade. And the problem with the other trades was simply trading against the trend or, or trading against the clear direction. This, as I was taking this one, as I told you, the market was looking like a big bearish candle. So this was actually suicide taking this. And for the trade from today, it was rather aggressive. What I could have waited for is something that I'm going to share with you in my next educational video as well, is very simple structure again, guys. All right. So I entered as the market was making a lower high. So where is my lower uh, lower low? Sorry. So where is my lower high? It's right there. So what I should have waited for is for the market to tap, to show me the reaction, to break the structure and then to enter in the retest. Okay. It maybe did it right there. So if, if you then see, okay, this is my lower low, lower high, double top right there, push. This is my lower low. Then the market breaks above the most recent lower high, so you can look for a trade somewhere right there. But I want you to have a look actually at the push that happens outside of that range is just wicks. It's not strong. This was stronger, maybe, but nothing very nice. You want to see a clear expansion outside of your zones, all right? So this is how I did those mistakes, and I really hope you should you actually learn something from it. Let me know if you did. And let me know if you like this sort of videos. I really hope that we're going to have some amazing trade ups, trading setups for next week so that I can go much more in depth and I can show you some much nicer trades. So yeah, this is where I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Make sure to leave a comment if you want to see me post more of those. Hit the like button and I can't wait to see you on my next video. And stay tuned for the weekly outlook and setups on Saturday.